Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another uh, overview unboxing for you. Today I'm going to open the Acid Rain Power Armor Expansion Pack and also from Toy Alliance, the Dairy of Ostrich Express. This is like a blind bag or in this case a blind box with a, kind of a mechanical or robot accessory. I'm curious to find out what is in there, so we're going to open these up and I'm going to give you my first impressions and my first thoughts on these two items. Alright, so here's the front of the box. You can see they've got one of the little robot guys there on the front. It's the HB-01, the Dairy of Ostrich Express. Six kinds plus one secret. So we'll find out what we've got in there. And here is the back, and you can see that the six different kinds plus one secret. A is a pony, B is a yo-yo, C is Turner, D is Lily, E is Sean, and F is Shiny. And there's the secret one at the bottom that says Special Edition. Each collection includes a secret hidden type. The production ratio of the hidden type is 118. And here's another side of the box. It says this product is packaged in a blind box and shipped randomly. So it is possible to get the same set of products multiple times. Toy Alliance Limited. And there's a small picture there of all of them opened up. Obviously it looks like the there's two, four, there's six. So that seventh one, they're not showing it. It is a secret. All right, guys, so here is Lily all put together. There was a sticker pack inside of the box that I had missed earlier, and that sticker pack you can see has a lot of stickers on there. You can put, uh, you can customize this thing quite a bit, and this uh, little placard right there allows you to put, um, you know, you could sort of, you can make it a taxi, warning, recycling. There's a lot of options there, even some in another language that I'm not aware of. And there's eyeballs and mouths and all kinds of signs. So that's kind of cool. Um, it allows for a lot of customization. I did have a little bit of trouble getting the bottles to hang there um, from Lily. She has, I'm calling her a she, she has a couple uh, hangers there and they are easily come apart. Those bottles do break in half or, uh, you know, simulate breaking in half and leaving a sharp edge, which is kind of cool. There's a couple cups here. I think they're cups. I might be wrong on the top that I just sat there. The barrel does open. You can put things inside of it. And it wasn't, uh, wasn't the easiest thing to put together. It also wasn't the hardest. Uh, felt like it was a little more challenging than it should be. The directions aren't, uh, they're not bad, uh, but they also are directions for all of or most of the other uh, blind boxes that you might get. Um, the base looks like it's reused. It does roll, the wheels do roll, and it does stand up. Uh, let me uh, transform it for you, so to speak, and I'll show you it in that, that sort of mode. All right, and there's Lily up on her legs. And I, I think I like this a little bit more. It looks like she can walk. The lights in the front almost look like she has eyes. Um, on the, the table there you can see the simulated broken bottle and I put the two cups on the ground. As I was sort of transforming her everything did kind of fall off and I had to put them back on. But all in all it's it's not a bad piece. I believe it was $8.99 on Pia Club. Both of these items I got off of Pia Club. And to just go along with my last video for Tamara I'm just trying to build up my Acid Rain collection, so I thought I would try this. I don't know if I'll get any more. I don't know if I like this that much, but it's a cool little back piece, you know, um, a little accessory to put in the background somewhere if you're snapping photos or if you're building out your world. So maybe it's probably worth one more, at least to maybe attach it as like in the picture over here to attach them together as a little train. Um, it would have been nice to get that... Uh, the uh, special one, but of course, you know, I didn't, um, but that's okay. There's a lot of cool stickers there. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on there yet, but it allows for a lot of customization and you'll have some leftover stickers when you're done to use for something else. So that's cool too. Um, all in all though, I do like it. I think it was worth the 899 
All right, so here is the box art for the Power Armor Expansion Pack and a little more clarity. I picked this up because I do have an Ankylo and I was missing uh, two more of like the shells to enclose the Kylo and the wagon completely. So I picked these up just to give it a little variation. They are kind of a yellow mustard sort of a caution uh, striping there. And it did come with some rifles and the power armor to hook on to any acid rain figure that you have. So those are pretty much the reasons why I got this. I believe it was $15.99 on Pia Club. So let me get this guy open and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so here is everything out of the package, and it uh, looks just like I thought. You know, the, the weathering on the shield, or the, the blast uh, the blast doors, I'll call them, it's great. They are a mustardy yellow. Um, they look terrific, though. There is two, like, standard, I'll call them standard, acid rain uh, rifles, a shield. It looks like the backpack and the arms there's a gun an extra gun that goes on the arms and a couple other smaller items looks like a shoulder cauldron pauldron uh, maybe a, a leg something to attach to the arm or the leg and a shield over here on the side so let me uh, strap up one of the guys and let's take a look at this stuff a little bit closer all right here we go guys so i did have a little bit of trouble figuring out how to get this equipment on him the, uh, the loadout that he has there. This is the Abaddon NCO figure, and I chose him because I have several of them. And the color pattern um, on his armor, even the caution sort of stripe, they seem to match. So I assume that this went to him, or could fit on him, I guess. And I was a little bit uh, mistaken because although it looks like it's on there, and it is, and he's holding the shield, and he's got the one of the rifles, the, the drone is attached to the backpack um, with one of the arms with that gun coming over his shoulder there, but it's very loosely attached. It, it might be, you know, good enough for posing and photography, but not actually playing with, with any kind of sudden movement or, uh, you know, moving him around. It's just going to fall out. So it doesn't, the pig doesn't quite fit into the back of his armor. And I guess maybe I don't have the exact figure that this should go on because in the picture behind him, you can see that the red piece that's on the table looks like it goes on a helmet, and that piece will not fit on this figure. Um, he has a different uh, helmet. So I was a little bit mistaken, but that's okay because you know most of the pieces I can still use, and I really got this for the blast shield parts to go on my Ankylo. The other pieces were an added bonus but he does look pretty good. I'll flip him around here and you can see the drone and the gun and how it's set up and I'll show you how it's loosely attached. Okay, so I just spun him around and everything stayed on. So it, it's not, it's loose, uh, but it's it's not going to stay on very well. But you can see on his uh, left arm there, he's got the data pad, just clicked right onto his arm. He's holding the shield. The drone is connected to the backpack. The backpack's on the figure, and the extra arm with the gun over the shoulders on him, and it looks pretty good. Like I, I said, I think you could, you could photograph this, and it would look just fine. Um, even setting him up on the shelf, it would look pretty good. But if you bump him, or if you want to, you know, pose him around, you're going to have to take that off almost every time because it's just going to fall off because it just doesn't fit that well on him. Now I'm going to take this off and try the other arms that it came with. We'll see how that looks. All right, so here he is with the power armor arms on, and I did have to heat that, heat those hands up quite a bit to get the guns in those hands. They were very stiff, very brittle, but once I heated them up, they went right in. This, uh, as I mentioned in the first part there, that the backpack falls right off. It falls off even easier with these arms because they weigh more. Um, they changed the balance of the backpack on his back uh, quite a bit because of the length of the arms and the weight of them. So I think I like the other um, smaller gun over the shoulder better. Um, but this still looks pretty good. Uh, I'm curious to find out what figure this should go on and try to pick it up. Because it is nice. Um, I just don't think I have the right figure for this armor. But it's great that it comes with the extra rifles because I can use those with anyone. And of course the blast shields to go on the Ankylo. 
Now I'm going to set up the little drone because it looks like I can uh, put the gun on the drone and show you what that looks like. Okay, and here is the gun mounted on the drone. And I switched the data pad to the other arm of the figure. And you can see that this does go really well. This I, I like how this looks. Um, it's a cool accessory having a drone and the data pad. So it, this is also a, you know, a build out that works. And it's something that I might do since the backpack doesn't work that well for me. Okay guys, so that is my uh, overview of the Power Armor Expansion Pack and the Dairy of Ostrich Express, the Lily. And I have to admit that they're pretty okay. They're nothing earth shattering or groundbreaking. I'm a little disappointed that I don't have the figure for the armor pack that the, the arms and the backpack fit well on. I think that that uh, because of that, the pack didn't really shine for me, but I am really glad that I got the blast shields. They uh, complement my Ankylo really well, and I would recommend those uh, for anyone needing blast shields just because of the color, the variation that they offer. And the Lily's fun, you know, for $8.99, it was nice to get uh, a barrel and some uh, bottles and a couple cups and so on. Those are nice accessories for world building. And I probably would for $8.99 take a chance and try another one. It wouldn't be bad even if I got another Lily just having some more bottles and uh, cups and another barrel. That would also work out. Um, but overall, I'd say these are just okay. But I am glad I got them. They were nothing you know, crazy expensive, so I don't feel like it was a loss. But I also don't feel overjoyed that I found some kind of great deal. But the blast shields really saved the day for me. And the armor pack's good. It's just I don't have the right figure for it. So I think if you did, you would think it was a great deal. And you'd probably be much happier than I am right now. But I'm not disappointed. Um, I'm just pretty okay with everything. So that's my overview, guys. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you next time.